Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Watch that hook, boy. Hey, guys, hunting, just in case. Cop Bridge does? I think so. Just woke up. Yeah. Just woke up. Morning. Good pass right there. Here it comes, Pop. Okay. Big black fin. <laughs> That's a big black fin, Ridge. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Nice. Another black fin, big black fin. <laughs> There's a small one in there. Oh, there we get that other. Nice. Another cane pole gap? Oh, no, you're Here, can I borrow this, please? Yeah. Thank you, sir. No problem. Watch your weight. Don't there you go. Man, nice, those are some bro. nice footballs there, boy. That's some big black in there. Yeah, there ain't no football here. <laughs> nice. Hey, time, that what we came here for? South Texas big football. <laughs> there you go, Cap. Tuna car car. <laughs> Box them. Right, right. Yeah, there's. Those are some toads. They're pushing 20. Yeah. Yeah, man. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's pre-dawn in Port Mansfield, Texas, and the locals are waiting for the bait store to open. Luckily, Captain Chad Kenny has the Bam Bam all ready to go and heads out for the morning bite. The weather is looking pretty nice. The forecast is calling for increasing winds throughout the day. So it's a cautious 10-mile trip just to clear the Port Mansfield Channel to the Gulf of Mexico. The goal for the morning is to find the shrimp boat fleet because where the shrimp nets drag, the blackfin tuna are close behind. What do you think, Buff? Bonita? Probably. Tuna? I don't know. I do not know. Yeah. Cool how they troll around the shrimp boat, huh? Yeah. It's like a NASCAR race around the pit car, I mean, the pace car. <laughs> He's staying down deeper, Jake. Yeah. He just yeah. woke up. Time to wake up. Black man. He's going in here. He saw that. Don't show it to him. <laughs> Go hide. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. How about that? Hey, hey! Thank you, sir. Man, uh, nice look one. at how beautiful. You know, I guess I can't tell you how many tunas I caught, and I just never get over the sheer beauty of, of one. All right. Okay. South, South Texas football. Yes, sir. What is the box, baby? I like it. Get it going again. No, we're, we're not used to having Murphy on the rod. I didn't, I didn't know. I don't know what we did, but let's do it again. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it, forget it. Catch more fish. Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club Lures. The Costa Pro Series. 
it's time to go pro. And StarTron cures and prevents fuel problems. The people that live in and around Port Mansfield are families that love to fish. And when the moment strikes, you will find all kinds of Texans enjoying some time at the local pier. Sometimes it's just about having fun and being with the ones you love. And sometimes it's about waiting for the next school of fish to swim by. Lucky for the crew, they don't have to wait for the fish to find them. Captain Chad makes a run and crosses behind one of the shrimp boats. Got them on, Reggie? I got them on. Oh, what you got? Uh, I don't know if I have anything. Oh, there he is. Back. I got another bite. Keep breathing, bite. You got him? Oh, this guy's leaving Dodge. I think you got better fish here, Rick. So, Chad, I got a question for you. What you got? What kind of conditions do you really like to do this? What's the best conditions to fish in the Gulf off these shrimp boats? Well, first of all, we start kind of like late July through about October. We like to have what we got here, like two to four foot sea, southeast winds. And uh, What's the key to the success? Getting up early, leaving in the dark? Yeah, you got to get up early, get here, because you got an early morning bite, and the fish will normally start sounding down deeper. During, as the day goes on, sometimes it shuts off at 9, 10, 11, but when they do, they're down deep. What's the variety that you catch on these behind them, you know? Yeah, so we get a lot of, uh, sometimes, bonita and the black fin. Um, depends, you get some wahoo mixed in once in a while, some dorado. That's the fun part, you just never know. Heck, we've hooked some blue marlin behind them before. Good job. Awesome. Coming in behind you, Rick. Going in. Okay, got it. Come on. Whoa, that's a big hit. One and a two. <laughs> that guy's thick. Man. Boy, ain't really if Bree would be here right now, she'd be screaming, look at that sushi in the mouth. The sushi? <laughs> Got him, bud? Yep. I don't know where to find out in a bit what he is. Come on, Chad. I'm glad it's not me. Don't do like I did. That's what it's supposed to look like, huh? Starting to just gradually float up. Yeah, I was when I saw him not floating way back there, I was like, ah. Here we I go. saw the bite. I was sitting here watching and I saw the, you know, pretty cool. To think that in 400 feet of water, you can see the bite, right? On mono. On, On mono. mono. Yeah. Now, why do you use mono instead of braid, Chad? A lot of times I use braid way out here deep like this. Yeah. But since we were kind of originally planning on pitching for some black fin and stuff, yeah. I like the mono for the stretch on a tuna. Of course. Yeah. So you can't see it. I get yep. it. You go with what you brought. Yeah. Got I see him. I hope it has some brown to him. Nope. No, sir. Whoa! That's a big old red snapper. That's a big red snapper there, bud. Here, I got you. Chad, I got this venting tool ready over here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. You wanna try it, this yeah, diamond we, venting tool? We're gonna do that. Well, that's a nice big fish there, bub. So the way this thing works, we're gonna go in that membrane from the bottom up, right here, poke the hole there. All right, now, <clears throat> there you go, perfect. You got him, I'm not wrapped on the tip. I'm gonna drop him over. We're just gonna let that down.
Then the more it goes down, the more he's decompressing. Look how fast it's starting to go no, he's now. Swimming. Well, it's he's de decompressing. Yeah. It seemed like he went every. What is it? Every 33 feet ridge. What's Froggy tell you? Like 15 pounds for every 33 feet, I believe. Look, look how fast he's going down now because it just might have just came off. You see down. how it popped? Yep. Now all I got to do, I'm gonna let it go another 50 feet. This is what's so neat about this. You could just reel it back. How about that? Yep. I think we just need to add one or two more of these. Yeah. Perfect. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Contender Boats, Always in the Game, Casa Vieja Lodge, Experience Five Star Angling in beautiful Guatemala, Murphy's Law Sport Fishing. Book your trip at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Taco Marine, Troll the Edge, and Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. When Captain Rick visited Captain Chad for the first time in 2017, he and his wife Erica had a store that they could get you everything you needed for your day on the water. Now they've expanded to include the Mansfield Marina. They've got a big boat launch area with three ramps and lots of parking, a store for food, drinks, tackle, and of course, bait. And they're making room for even more bait. Oh, and they have some ice. For a drinking town with a fishing problem, Port Mansfield is not a sleepy town. Now, there's a rumor going around that Captain Chad and Erica have big plans. Something about a casual dining area and a 55-foot hatteras? Oh, they just... Yeah. Oh! Just came off. Okay. Get him, Rich. Mine just came off. Get him, Ridgey. You're putting the wood to him. Yeah. They don't even know it's hooked yet. So, Chad, how many, how many types of grouper do you guys catch here from Texas? We get anything from like scamp grouper, guy grouper, yellow wedge, misties, warsaws. Uh, rock hines, strawberry grouper up in the, in the state waters. Wow. Yeah. Lots of different groupers. Yeah, a bunch of different groupers. Now, how big? Do scamps get really big in this part of the Gulf of Mexico? Yeah, actually, so I got the, I can show you the paperwork, state record on it. Yeah, we have one for 29.8 pounds, I believe. What? Yeah. I'd love Massive. to see a picture of that. Yeah, big old fan big, tail. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a big one. Big stuff. We caught them jigging just like this. One guy had an amberjack on, and the other guy I thought had another one. I ignored him, and it floated up, and it was a state record scam. Wow. <laughs> Get him, Ridgey. I'm coming over to help. What you got? That might be brown. That is There's a big, big yellow edge. Look at that yellow edge. Wow. That Come is on. I never even caught one of those, man. What do you say, bud? That's a big one. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. Can we poke him? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's a cool fish, man. Oh, that's gonna be. It's gonna be tasty too. That is a beautiful. Look at that. It's like the same 14 karat gold that Mother Nature used to do the yellowtail snapper. That's a beautiful one. She wasn't out of paint, so she went ahead and gave the yellow edge that. Yeah, how cold so it is. So beautiful. Well, listen. It's a long way down. If you were down there 400 or 350 feet, you'd be cold too. Well, you know where it needs to go? In my mouth. Get a little colder. Nice. First yellow edge you ever caught? Yes, sir. Good job. Thank you, Chad. Really? There you go, Rich. Nice. Your turn. I just want to let you know. Your turn. You brought yours up. He missed his halfway. I know. It's OK. We don't need to talk about <laughs> that. It's all right. <laughs> well, I got to show you. I got the hole. Never mind. Oh. I got the hole in here from where I fought mine halfway up. It don't count. I know. But it's just a little hole. Yeah, it counts in. Ooh, it counts <laughs> so for something. That's a big yellow edge. Get back down there. Nice, Rich. Come on. Let's do it again, fellas. 
Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail, Load, Launch, Relax, Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia, the American Fishing Tackle Company, any fish, any water, since 1958, the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are, and Garmin, join the club. Somebody trying to eat this middle one. There you go, G. You up and over? Don't worry about it right now. I'm, I think I'm way past you. I think you're over. Here. You got rich. Saltwater fish? Yeah. In Texas. A good one. This is the first time you've been fishing in Texas, really? Uh, no. No? When were you in Texas before? With you? With me? A long time ago. Is that in we Texas? Went, we went to Sam Rayburn. Oh, that's right. Bad fishing. Don't count. <laughs> Come on, do you right? These two speed reels. Ben's do a good job, man. Fun. Yes, sir. You got it, Pop. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Here it comes. Nice one. Hello! Hey! What do you need me to do for you, bud? Open that? That's it? Yeah. Catching stuff yeah, on your yeah, own. Yeah. A teaser. <laughs> Get him, Ridge. Your turn, Ridge. Oh! I fell in the box. Ridgey in the box. <laughs> I like a book. Here he comes. Here goes, G. Nice. Oh, look how fat he is. Woo. I like it. Good job, Gila. Nice. Sweet. Our cup runneth over with tunas. <laughs> Wow. You know, it's so funny how you get just a little bit of cloud cover and the bite's crazy. And a little bit of chop. Yep. And the bite's crazy. Yep. Versus slick tom is never seems to be good for any kind of offshore fishing. It's like a walleye chop. Unless you're in Guatemala, of course. Or walleye fishing. Yeah. The Pacific, it's always got to be calm, you know? Oh, yeah. What do you think, Ridge? I think we're gonna have some sushi. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you think uh, maybe we should move to Texas. <laughs>
Yes, sir. Nice. And another one. <laughs> another one. Get him before he goes crazy. That box is looking healthy. Bonita. Grouper bait for later. As forecasted, the wind is picking up, and if the crew is going to get through the inlet without too many problems, they'd better get a move on. Once the Bam Bam is docked, Randy, the local chef, starts putting on a feast. But while he's doing that, Ridge went to cross off one of the items on his bucket list. A few years back, he saw his dad hand feed deer, so he's met up with some more locals. Back at the shop, the food is about done. A shrimp boil, crab legs, the infamous yellow edge grouper, and all the fixins'. There's nothing better than a great meal with great people on a great sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you.